went fishing Monday night around my, the lake behind my house and we trolled and the guy I was with was trolling a fly, a green fly, something like this, a muddler. So I've been tying flies for a long time, not perfect at it. I learned when I was in Bible college. I graduated in 90, so before late 80s I took this class while there. So every once in a while I'll tie one. So I'm going fishing tonight. So I thought I would tie one on and get it ready for tonight and maybe troll around the lake with it and uh, see how it goes. Maybe I'll get a bass with it. It's nothing like, I think, making your own hooks or flies and then having them work. I know I paint some of my own spinner blades, certain color I like, and they often work, and that's always kind of cool. Like I said, I took fly time way back in the late 80s. Sometimes, it's been years, I haven't done anything. Sometimes I'll take a spurt. I'll often will on my treble hooks on spinners, put some red on them for blood. I think that works better for them. So this is just a quick video on this, and I'll finish this. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close to what he had that night, and uh, hopefully tonight. Just got to spin this deer hair around. So, and I've had this deer hair a long time and it has kept. I've never had bugs come into it at all, which is kind of nice. I got this here a little fly table stand from a guy who I went, went to Cabela's and I say, if you're there, check out these here fly tying vices that come in a little box and carry them. So he, he picked one up for me. It's been the best little vice. I'm at my desk right now. I've been working all morning on getting ready for a sermon for Sunday. So I guess taking a little bit of time here to do this because I, I have two or three in case I lose one and they're working. Maybe even share it with the I'm going fishing with. Again, I'm no pro. But I've been doing this for a while, so I just like this. And um, I never could figure out how to use one of these whip stitch finish machines. Too complicated for me. So I came across this idea once. If you take thread. This. Cut it. And I've been doing it this way for as long as I've been tying flies. Wrap around it. Stay a lot of hairs there. I like to tie my knot first, then trim it. few times and you just cut your thread from your here. Bring it up like this. Pull it through and now I got my knot tied. And one time I'm gonna trim it. It's a little haircut here. Ministers tie flies at the desk, but it's a pretty good spot to do it. Underneath the little hairdresser, either, so. It's kind of fun. Tying flies is kind of relaxing.
make easier ways to do it. I remember once though I did tie flies for a guy who was going to a fishing camp and they wanted him to have some left. They asked if they could keep the ones I made when he left, so that was kind of my fly trying fly tying crowning moment to think that some guides have wanted my flies. Kinda cool. And way to cut too much or cut I don't know. I guess the only test will be if tonight although the calendar says it's not a good fishing night according to the fishing calendar. But any night fishing's a better night than staying home not fishing. We'll find out how it is. And so I just use a little bit of clear fingernail polish for the head. I'm the only guy that does that for these. There. Quick. And I think I might even take this one here and put it on a spinner. Maybe. The, the fellow I was fishing with, he's a fly fisherman. He's a trout fisherman for flies. And uh, he thought maybe put it on a spinner with help. So maybe I'll even try that tonight. There, let me get an angle there. Maybe give a mohawk or a mullet. That's it, mullet. Something. There we go. Ready for tonight. Hopefully. One bass will take that's a meal and eat it. Later.